Also developing this noontime, attorneys for a local adult entertainment club go before the Rhode Island Supreme Court, appealing the loss of their entertainment license. The Foxy Lady was shut down by the city of Providence after three women were arrested, accused of prostitution. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh has been in court for hours. She joins us now with the latest live in Providence. Well, we just stepped out and moments after we stepped out, we saw lawyers involved in this appeal for the Foxy Lady walk out of Rhode Island Supreme Court telling us we should expect a written statement on what was decided, if anything, within 10 minutes or so. Now, the Providence Board of Licenses voted on Wednesday to permanently close the Foxy Lady on allegations of prostitution. The club is appealing that decision with a Supreme Court justice behind closed doors. Three women workers were arrested last Tuesday night, not this past Tuesday, as part of a prostitution sting by undercover Providence police officers. Eyewitness News was at the Board of Licenses meeting immediately after that sting, voting to close it in what they called an emergency situation. Then the next day they heard both sides and were given about 10 days to vote on if they wanted to permanently close the club. Then this past Wednesday, that's what that decision was. They voted to permanently close it. Providence police say that management must have known about prostitution happening within the club. Management told us they had no idea and that they follow the laws that Rhode Island has for these types of clubs. Now, this afternoon in a separate situation, we're also expecting the Foxy Lady lawyers to appeal the decision by the state to take away the licenses, especially for liquor. So we're going to stay on this story and we'll update you as soon as we get any information, especially that news release expected in just a few minutes. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.